If you have watched my previous video, you have probably noticed this. Yep, it's rust. And uh, I live in Lithuania, which is in Northern Europe. And that means we get a lot of snow. Although many people assume Lithuania is an Eastern European country. But nope, at least according to Google, Lithuania is a Nordic country. And uh, yes, we do get a lot of snow. And unfortunately, our cars rust a lot. In this video, I'm gonna sand my arches and uh, paint it with this anti-gravel paint to protect them from rusting in the future. And uh, of course, give Gector the van some style points. I hope you will enjoy this video and uh, don't forget to give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm gods. Uh, it does really help me out. And uh, cheers. This is not required, but I did mask off the areas I'm gonna paint with masking tape before I started to grind all of it away. Safety first. If you have a lot of loose rust on the area you want to paint, I would highly recommend buying a wire brush bit for your drill and removing all of the loose pieces of paint and rust. After removing the loose rust and paint, I started to sand the arches with a 36 grit sandpaper and a sander to expose the bare metal. After grinding away the rust and the paint, it is very important to treat the bare metal to prevent it from rusting again in the future. I used a product called Hammerite Kurust, which stops the metal from rusting and covers it in a protective layer that turns black in a couple of minutes. It is widely available and you can find it in any home improvement store. As all of the arches were pretty damaged by the rust, I've continued this process on all four of them. Unfortunately, didn't have any masking paper with me, so I used trash bags. But, I mean, if it works, it works. After covering everything up, it's time to paint. I started off with the light first layer. On the second layer, I sprayed a thicker layer of anti-gravel paint on the arches and on the underside of the arches for a better protection in the future. As this is the most volatile part of the arch where all of the rocks hit and the rust spots occur. And of course, the more satisfying part of the process, peeling off the tape and looking at the results. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if it does help you out, please give me a comment and let me know what you think. And have a fantastic day today.